Pass or fail? And why? Mike Forrest, why? Because of the debris that's in it, it's not properly supported. So a little bit more? Talk to me more about the support. It's not underneath the bell hole. So you got to dig the bell hole and let the pipe stay on the ground. The bell is supposed to be in a hole in the ground and the pipe is supposed to be, again, on solid bearing virgin soil that you haven't overdigged. Fail, see you later, bye. Reinspection fee. You can never, ever, ever. I don't know who the hell tells people this, but me as an inspector, as a state investigator, as the associate executive director for the plumbing board, as an investigator, who did you learn that you can put pipe on blocks and set them up on concrete blocks and then backfill? Because you can't. You never could for since, let me see, I've been doing this since I was 14 years old. And I don't know where people think they can like elevate pipe on blocks and not be on virgin soil, freshly compacted. And obviously, like Mike said, that is not on virgin soil and it's sitting on a block. This is just absolutely ridiculous, deplorable workmanship, not even workmanship. I don't know what they call that. But so help me God, if I ever catch you as an inspector on a job, you're doing that kind of shit, you'll end up what happened on this particular job. Take every inch of the pipe out, redo it over. I want to see it all compacted. I want to actually be here when they're compacting. There's the same job taking a shot down the pipe. Plumber and excavation contractor not communicating. Oh, let's just dig the trench at one uniform level, and then you can put it on blocks, and then we'll backfill. No, which is one of the reasons why you see an extensive amount of questions out of Section 1005, trenching, tunneling, and backfilling. Because plumbers can't do it as much as they can't size gas piping. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous.